Danny Surek here with linebacker Dennis Gardeck, and this is Sideline Exchange. The 10 and 4 Cardinals are coming off back to back losses for the first time this season. Dennis, how is this team rallying to get back on track against the Colts this week? Um, this is what the team was built for, that kind of adversity. Leadership was a point of emphasis in the offseason. I think we got the right guys in the room. Um, and, and just the accountability has been incredible. Everybody's stepping up, finding ways uh, to get better, to improve, and uh, get ready for next week. You have been reliable on special teams, one of the team's top tacklers. In fact, in Sunday's game over the Lions, defensive lineman Zach Allen came up to you after a special teams tackle to hype you up on a good play. Great job, Dennis! Great job. Hey, Dennis, great job. How have you embraced your role on special teams, an area that can't go overlooked? Mm -hmm. Special teams, it's a, it's a job first and foremost, and it, it's a, an opportunity to play football, which is really all I'm looking for, any way I can get on the field. Uh, and I love special teams. I think some of the most football plays are special teams plays. You start every game with a kickoff, and I, I think uh, um, everything that football um, embodies is, is special teams. The Colts are coming to town red hot, having won five of their last six in large part due to running back Jonathan Taylor, who leads the league in rushing yards, rushing touchdowns, and overall touchdowns. Stopping him seems near impossible. At the very least, how do you make things challenging for Taylor Saturday? Um, he is a great back, um, runs hard, he's a physical back, um, but I think it's about us. It's about us staying in our gaps, doing our jobs. As, as long as we're doing our jobs, I think, I think we got a good game plan. Last week, the defense recorded 13 quarterback pressures, which is a bit low for this defense. Colts quarterback Carson Wentz's completion percentage drops to 50% under pressure. How can this defense get back to 20 plus pressures like in the beginning of the season, especially against a quarterback who's 50-50 in those situations? Yep, it starts with stopping the run. And then once we get them to, to situations where we know they have to pass the ball, we have the best outside and, and D-line out there. So we're gonna be able to get after the quarterback. A lot at stake for both teams who are fighting for a playoff spot. This gives the Cardinals a chance that they win to stay above the Rams in division standings and also snap a three game losing streak at home. How much is this a revival game for this team to get that spark back and secure a playoff berth in front of Cardinals fans? Mm -hmm. I think it's about securing a playoff berth, but at the end of the day, it's a football game. We're gonna approach it the same we've approached every other game. Um, we're gonna continue to improve. We're gonna do our job. Um, and it'll be enough this Saturday. There's no better way to get into the Christmas spirit than playing on Christmas, mm -hmm. right, Dennis? Yeah. <laughs> Red Sea, come out to State Farm Stadium Saturday, Christmas Day. The Cardinals are hosting the Colts. It's a 6:15 kickoff. Reporting from Cardinals practice for Dennis Gardak, I'm Danny Sarak.